Um, I guess this is my first YouTube vlog. I've had a lot of things on my mind recently that I wish I had somebody to talk with about, but I don't. I first came to New York in August of 2005 when uh, packed up all my, my stuff into three bags and sold everything else and headed out to New York from Utah. I'm from Utah. Utah's where I'm from. It's where I started and it's why I'm so dark and I'm from Utah. stupid songs about Utah for this crazy documentary about me cause I'm from Utah Utah's where I'm from it's where I started and it's why I'm all thumbs I'm from Utah Utah My earliest memory is of dressing up as a girl. Even at the age of four, I was, you know, I had this longing and this, this belief that, you know, I just wanted to be a girl so bad. I can always remember that. And that's always been a part of my life. And that's always been in conflict with my religion growing up. I mean, you can imagine. 30,000 people living in a valley and 90% of them are Mormon. I was raised thinking that gay people were evil. And, uh, you know, until the time I was like 14, I thought that they were. I didn't have any knowledge of what transgender was. I had no idea. I cross-dressed. I always had women's clothing at my, at my parents' house. I always, you know, hid it, you know, and and I was always told that that was wrong and that was a sin and, you know, if, if I prayed or, or something like that, those desires would go away. And I would pray so sincerely and I would try so hard to make those desires go away because I would feel so guilty. Everybody is telling you this is wrong, but you can't stop doing it, you know, and you can't stop feeling it. And, uh, you know, you, you just have this nagging fear that somebody's going to find out. So I'd feel a tremendous amount of guilt and would just take all my, my girls' clothes that I had amassed and throw them away. I'd put them in a garbage bag and I'd go put them in our dumpster and I would, I'd promise myself, you know, that's it, I'm done. And I probably did that once every four or five months, so, which was always such a stupid idea, because <laughs> a week later I'd be like, damn it, why did I do that? Now I have to go get more. And, you know, when you're a 14-year-old boy, it's tough to get girls' clothes when you live in Utah. I was a good little Mormon boy. <laughs> anyway, my name's Erin. I'm 22. I'm transgendered. And I'm a lesbian. And really, that's what this blog is about. Uh, it's about me. It's about being transgendered, it's about being a lesbian, and it's about being out here in the big city and living my life the way that I want to do it, you know, regardless of what people think. So, um, I hope you 
be plenty more to come, I'm sure. But I was, you know, browsing and I was like, well, I'll see what this whole YouTube thing is about. And for some reason I felt really compelled to make a blog on here. I, just, I wanted to be a part of it, you know, so I, I, I took a, a little video camera that was my boss's actually, and I took it down to the basement of our store on my break, and I made my first video. I was expecting 50 people to watch it and to never post a video again, and you know, I, ch I checked on it the next day and I had like 10 comments on there, and I had all these people that had written me messages that were supportive and you know, really nice, and uh, you know, it was, it was like something like 200 people had, had watched that first video in, in one day. Hey YouTube, um, so like I said in my first blog, I'm gonna kind of talk about what it's like to completely change your life. And I figured that the best place to start for that would be, why did I change my life? And how did I know that that was the right thing to do? Um, so I guess it was two years ago, as of two days ago, it was two years ago, I was living in Utah and I came across somebody online. Uh, her name was Winters and um, she was transgendered as well. I started talking to her and I never really heard that that was something that you could do and I'd seen transvestite porn and things like that, but I just thought it was photoshopped. I had no idea that those, like that was real and there are people like that. And the second I found out that there were people like that and then that's something I could do, everything clicked. All of a sudden I knew you know, what I'd been feeling for the last 20 years had been this and that this was the way I could express it. It was like listening to someone describe me, which was, uh, it was really intense. And about three weeks later, I had transitioned to full-time uh, living as a woman. I transitioned about three weeks after turning 20.